The Ford Motor Company just got hit with a $1.7 billion verdict in Georgia. That case arose out of a truck rollover accident in which two people were killed. And the allegation was that the truck was unreasonably dangerous because it had a weak roof system that would collapse when the vehicle would roll over in an accident. What came out in that lawsuit and what I think led to the huge verdict was some evidence that Ford knew about the problem for a long time and did nothing about it. The trucks at issue were manufactured between 1999 and 2016. They all had the same roof design. And what was happening was that in rollover accidents, the roof was collapsing and people were getting killed or maimed. Ford knew about this and they did a study and they determined that the problem could be fixed for about $100 per truck. But rather than recall all of those trucks and inform everyone that owned them that they were dangerous vehicles, Ford decided on a different cause of action. They decided to basically deny that there was a problem, say that the trucks were safe, defend all of the lawsuits that arose out of the injuries and deaths. And then if they settled those lawsuits, they would force the people who settled to sign confidentiality provisions saying they wouldn't talk about the settlements. So I think what happened in Georgia is that when the jury learned about this, that there was a problem that Ford knew about and didn't fix, they got very angry. And what happens when juries get very angry in a case like this is they can award punitive damages to punish the company. And that's what happened.